Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about underrated makeup products. Okay, first things first, I'm begging you, ignore my hair, ignore the bumps. Like I was saying, we're going to talk about underrated products today. It's mostly makeup. I've got some skincare. I've got a hair product that I'm dying to tell you about. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week at 9 a.m. Eastern on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Be sure to subscribe and let's hop into it. All right, we'll start with the hair product today. I mentioned this in my Ulta haul recently. If you missed that video, I can leave it linked down below, but I feel like I wanna shout to the rooftops, from the rooftops, that's the expression, right? Shout from the rooftops about this product right here. So this is from the brand Not Your Mother's. This is called the Smooth Move Lamellar Water Rinse. Have you guys heard of Lamellar Water? This is a new concept and I feel like it is exploding. A lot of brands are doing like hair rinse products like this. I was kind of like, I don't think I need a product like this. I don't need an extra step in my hair care routine. I already probably overcomplicate it too much. I'm happy with my hair. But this came to me in PR and I actually noticed that Not Your Mother's was certified by Cruelty Free Kitty, which I didn't even realize. So I was like, okay, let me just try this, we'll see. And what you do with this product, after you shampoo your hair, it's a rinse. You just soak your hair in this, you leave it on for seconds, that's it, and then you rinse it out. And once you rinse this out of your hair, I don't understand the magic that this does, but your hair will feel like you left the salon. I have never found a more like instant results product. Like once this is rinsed out of your hair, your hair will be as soft as humanly possible, like so smooth, frizz, what frizz? I will say though, with all of that in mind, it is like a very, very soft, somewhat heavy product. I feel like I could see it really weighing down your hair, so this might not be the best option if you wear your hair in its like naturally curly state. I would say it could perhaps weigh that down, I'm not entirely sure. But if you, once you get out of the shower, like to straighten your hair, blow dry it, do a blowout, like, this just amps up the smooth factor. So I have used this much of it already. You use, they say you use one to two doses each time. The dose is written on the side here. I've not heard a single person talk about this. Maybe I've missed it, but I'm telling you guys, this should be a viral product. Let's talk about what's on my lips right now. This is from Flower Beauty. Why isn't anyone talking about this? This is called the Color Shift Lip Smoothie. I'm a big fan of Flower Beauty. I've tried a majority of their products. I have done work for Flower Beauty before. So the fact that I wasn't even aware that this existed until about a month ago blows my mind because it has overnight become one of my favorite lip products. So I mentioned this in my drugstore lip oils video that I posted for my last Affordable Friday. I can leave that link down below also. But this is essentially a lip gloss. I'm wearing it today over a lip liner. I actually usually wear it without lip liner because this is one of those products that adapts to your lip color. I know, I know. Not everyone is into that. I used to be anti lip adjusting color products. I don't know if that was the right description, but I used to really not like this type of product, but these days, this is the tone of lip I'm really into. But something about this one, it doesn't pull as like hot pink as a lot of the other ones do. It's this really beautiful berry color. I mean, granted, I've only tried it on my own lips because I only have my own lips, so I can't speak to the color it would adjust to on someone else, but I like this so much more than I've liked color adjusting lip products in the past. This also leaves behind a little bit of a tint even once you've eaten food and some of that gloss has disappeared. This really does not leave my purse. Pretty much any look I do recently, I'm like, what should I pair this with? This. Okay, a liquid blush. This is from Kaja. This is kind of newer, but I have not heard a lot of people talking about this, and I don't know why. Especially because we are in a liquid blush boom. Even for myself, I'm going through a big liquid blush phase. I just purchased a few. I asked you guys over on my Instagram which drugstore liquid blushes I should test out for my Affordable Friday series, and I picked up three of the most common answers. I got the Milani one, the Profusion one, and the Makeup Revolution one. So I'm testing those ones out now. Today I mixed the Milani and the Profusion and the Glossier. I mix so many blushes normally, but anyways. 
this is the one I'm here to talk about. I'm getting distracted. So this is called Whipped Dream. I have the shade number two. And this, the color in particular, is gorgeous. If you're around my skin tone, this is the perfect pinky nude blush shade. And the formula of this, I would say, really stands out above a lot of other liquid blush formulas. Many of them are very liquidy. This, like the name would suggest, is a lot more of a whipped formula. So it looks really smooth on the cheeks, but it still looks natural because it is a liquid blush and you still have that semi-dewy finish to it. It's also incredibly easy to blend out. Whenever I start to blend this out, it always looks really intimidating and I think, okay, there's no way I'm gonna get this blended out. I'm gonna have stamp marks on my cheek but it just blends out seamlessly every single time. And I'm normally not a big fan of applying my liquid blush directly to my cheeks. I find that I get the best results if I put it on my hand and then pick that up with my brush. But this is one of the few formulas that I still think looks beautiful applied directly to the face, which makes life a lot easier. I had another one of these because this one came to me in PR. I had another one in a different shade that I passed along to a friend and she texted me the other day. She was like, I am obsessed with that blush that you gave me. I've never seen a formula like this before. It looks so nice. So you heard it from me. You heard it from Christina. These deserve more hype. Let me know though your favorite liquid blush. Like I was saying, I am testing some out for an affordable Friday video, but let me know also your favorite high-end liquid blushes slash if there are any you want me to find a dupe for because I am working on a new dupes video. I'm, I'm testing some products. I'm looking for some other ones to find dupes for. So you let me know. Your wish is my command. But next, let's talk about a skincare product. This is a vitamin C serum from Pharmacy. This is a pretty new product. And yet, I don't feel like I've heard a lot about this. I will say, I obviously can't watch everyone on the internet, so maybe on other channels, other platforms, some of these products are getting more buzz than I'm aware of. But personally, what I've heard about this, crickets. So this is the Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. This, I enjoy so much and I saw pretty quick results with. So I like to use a vitamin C serum in the morning. And I will say, at the end of the day, a lot of vitamin C serums, regardless of price point, they're all gonna perform similarly. And what I'm looking for is not just what they're gonna do for my skin, but because this is part of my morning routine, I need one that's gonna wear well under makeup. And so few of them seem to do that for me. I find so many that just cause my makeup to pill or to separate, but this formula is so unique. So they say it's waterless. When I squirt some out, it, it kind of looks like a water, which is the weird part. And when I'm applying it, it almost feels kind of greasy. Like the texture when I first applied it for the very first time worried me. I'm like, this is not gonna wear well under makeup. It is going to be so greasy. And yet once I let this absorb and then I put my moisturizer over top and then obviously a little while later my sunscreen, it adds some hydration to my skin, but it's not causing any of these products to react weird with one another and it's not making my foundation look weird over top. And the results that I saw from this were so fast. Vitamin C is really great for freckles, discoloration, scarring, and I saw such an immediate difference. Honestly, guys, I used to have a lot of freckles and between using tretinoin and vitamin C in the morning, I feel like all my freckles have disappeared, which is a good thing, but makes me sad at the same time. But I'm telling you, this works so fast for me for scarring, for discoloration. I have been using this, I believe, for three months now, and I already noticed a really big difference within the first few weeks, especially within a month, and then with consistent use. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, and when this launched, I was able to go to a little launch breakfast with Pharmacy for this. It's not sponsored. I just genuinely love this product. I'm under no obligation to talk about it, but I really do use it every day. And they mentioned at that breakfast that when they designed this, they created it. So this is one singular component. So you can recycle this as is. So it is airless. And then once you use it up, you can just put this right in your recycling bin. You don't even break it apart. Like it's just one component. So I love that also. Okay, this cream bronzer from Tarte. Do you guys remember this? A long time ago, I almost picked this up. And then I remember hearing some people say they didn't like it. So I held off for a very long time. And then I finally got it. 
and now I don't get why this is not a viral cream bronzer. So this is their cream bronzer. I have the shade Seychelles. It's their breezy cream bronzer. I picked up the mini. I would recommend getting the mini if you can because I use this every single day. I've used it every single day for quite a few months now and I still barely have a dent in this. Today, I did switch it up. I am wearing my Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer because that's the one in my Shop My Stash right now. I'm trying to force myself to take a little break from this one, but the color of this is so gorgeous. It's the easiest thing to blend out, but it's not too oily or too balmy. This is my favorite cream bronzer that I've tried, and I know that's a big statement. I like it more than the Milk Makeup one. That being said, what other cream bronzers do you think I need to try? Maybe I will do my favorite cream cheek products video. So I'll do the drugstore one with the blushes for you guys, but also let me know if you'd wanna see just cream cheek products. That being cream highlights, cream blushes, cream bronzers, like best and worst, just the best. Let me know what you wanna see. Cause I know cream products are really big right now. I am in my cream phase at the moment. I feel like my makeup preferences go in cycles. I will go through a I only like powders phase and now I'm in my I only like creams phase. And I'm sure once fall rolls around, we'll get back to powders. But right now, I, I, I'm a little obsessed with cream makeup. So I'm loving that one, loving this cream blush. All five of these I think are super underrated. I will leave everything linked down below as always. I do like to say that I use affiliate links, so thank you if you shop through any of those links. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.